Hey guys, if you have been coding in Python for a while now, then you must have seen the term sys.rv in some Python programs. So sys.rv is actually a parameter which is defined in the sys module, obviously, right? So sys.rv is a parameter which does some special things which we are going to explore in this particular video. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so let me start by showing you a very simple Python program. So it's a very simple Python program in which I ask the user to enter some number n and then I run a loop n times in which I fill up my empty list nums with the integers which are provided by the user. And finally, I return the sum of those integers to the back to the user. So that's all this program is doing right now. And let us try to run this program a bit. Okay, so this file test.py is actually on the desktop right now, right? So if I just do python3 test.py, uh, it's asking me to enter n, so let's put it 3. So now I have to enter some 3 integers, let me just do it 1, 2 and 3. And finally I get 6, so that's the output. So in this way, this program is working. But if you think a bit about it, you will see that it is prompting the user to enter the numbers at several stages of running the program which is quite frustrating for the user sometimes because a better way would have been that user would have just given these numbers like python3 test.py 1 to 3 and that's it you must have got the result right it is asking you a lot of things um, at different intervals of the program run so a better way is to just give all the arguments that you want to give just at the starting of running the program so that is what command line arguments do so these are the command line arguments test.py 1 2 and 3 there are four command line arguments in this complete command in this particular case this command contains only one argument which is test.py okay so right now this is what command line arguments look like and now we need to know, find a way using which we can get those command line arguments right so right now we do not know any criteria of how to get those command line arguments right so for doing that what you'll have to do is that you'll have to import the sys module and then the sys module contains something called sys.rv which is a parameter which will return you the list of the command line arguments that have been passed to your python program while you try to run it so let me just try to print it for you okay so i will now try to print it so let's do this <clears throat> okay so here we go let me just run python3 test.py first of all so look at that i get back a list the list contains test.py which is actually the first argument of this complete command so now let me just do it one two three look at that i get one two three as well in that list right so in this way you can get the inputted command line arguments using sys.rv so now let's go back to our main goal which was to create a program which can return the user with the sum of the integers which they pass to it for example in this particular case i would like to return six right so what i can do here is that i know that the first argument is actually the name of the file so i will just use one colon so one colon will actually return me um, one two and three in this particular case that is the arguments after test.py so that is what we, i need to calculate the sum right so sys.rv1 and now as we know that all the arguments which are provided back to you by sys.rv are strings and as i need to convert them to integers first so i will do map int so this will map all of those strings into integers and then i have to just make a sum out of it so i just pass that map result into the sum function so that's it this is all i need to do to make that program right I do not need to write any input statement at all because the user is already giving me all the data that I need. So that's it. So now let me just run this python3 test.py and look at that. I get the output as 6. Let me make it 4. I get 10, right? So it's working absolutely fine. So this is how you can get the list of inputted command line arguments by using the sys.rv parameter. Now sys.rv is good for getting simple command line arguments but as the things get complex and as you start putting different kind of variables or different kind of situations in your command line arguments then in that case it's better to use a library which specializes in that right. So for that we have something called rparse 
so you can check out this article of mine which whose link i will provide in the description of the video below so it's cli programming in python in which i talk a bit about r parse so r parse is a simple library written in python it's a built-in python library actually which will help you to make simple user-friendly command line interfaces where user can interact with your python program through the command line only okay so that is where r parse comes into the picture so i won't be making any tutorial on r parse as of now but if you're interested you can check that out and i hope you got the concept of sys.rv as well if you still have doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.